okay so now you can see that I got the boom and sail all the running rigging there was additional stuff that was up there attached to pulleys and uh, I had about five different lines for raising stuff off of the mizzen mast which is a little overkill on top of that you know it had a boom stay for keeping the boom up which wasn't even being used and the line for uh, the boom sheet itself was twice as large as it should have been it was only a hundred and thirty square area sail and you're running a boom sheet that was five eighths it's a little little too much so all right so real quick guys right here see every mast just about every mast is put on a boat should have a drain port somewhere on the bottom of the mast and it's usually a little closer to the collar down here because any water that comes from rain that goes down the mast needs to have a place to go well this one here somebody capped it off and I started pulling it out and you can see the river water is still coming out of the uh, hole I have a sneaking suspicion that this mast has probably got water in it at least three or four feet up the mat up the mast uh, with the water level because it's still going and it's been going for about 15 minutes now and uh, trying to get it completely drained which is probably not helping the inside of my boat at all because I got lag bolts out already so if you have drain holes in your mast don't plug them please they're there for a reason water's got to go somewhere and if you don't see water coming out of them when it rains heavy then you need to take a little piece of wire and stick it in there and root it around just like you'd unclog a pipe because uh, gunk or dirt from years would get stuck down in there and you need to get it cleaned out and the water's got to have a place to go and it's designed to do that so don't plug your plug your holes that are at the bottom of those masts otherwise you're just going to create a bigger problem for you or somebody else in the future well it went down a lot easier than I expected uh, we used the uh, mainsail uphaul and lashed off a line to the top of the mizzen mast and then we took the two forward mizzen mast stays off and let her slide back until she uh, rolled off and once it uh, once the slack got pulled tight on the mainstay uh, it just cranked the winch and lowered her on down over the back rail and then we just kind of worked the uh, floating dock up underneath and slowly worked her onto the dock and took us all of about 20 minutes and we were completely done and sitting on the dock. So Kira is actually enjoying not having the boom to contend with because it got rid of the extra line and everything that was here because she didn't want to walk this way because now she can hang out right next to us and there's nothing here and the holes all patched up so Well, it's taken about well, two and a half months, but Sarge has finally come out of the inside of the boat. Isn't that right, Sarge? Yeah, he's named after the uh, insane military cat off of 101 Dalmatians cartoon, Sergeant Tibbs. And most of the time, he's pretty damn lazy. But sometimes he definitely gets a hair in the wrong spot and he goes all over the place.
He's been with me for quite a while now. And he travels really well. And once he gets used to everything again, then he has a good time. everybody's question yes we have a pump out service that comes out and pumps out our vessel um, there's actually a service out here in Florida that does that and he's actually on his way over right now so we're getting the deck cleared off a little bit and um, get ready for him to come do it it only takes about five minutes he drains out all the septic and then we get another two weeks before he comes back for another appointment so easy peasy Sure, as soon as I turn the video on, then everybody gets spread out. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>